welcome everyone to pfoval tutorial guys and in this video i am going to show you how to create a staff login function so this one we already created the you know the admin login function which this which is going to be a follow the same algorithm so i will do it uh, very quickly as soon as much as i can so i not to i'm not going to explain each and everything so if n those who didn't watch the admin login function creating video so they can refer that video for more details so in this video I'm going to just uh, create that uh, staff login function and guest login function and uh, very faster so because it's already we s look at that how to create that one so here first I'm going to call the prototype calling here because I'm going to um, I am going to create this function below the main function so I call the prototype function first here void staff string user and string password okay sorry okay so this will be my function name which is the staff which means staff so it, it is the name of the function so I am going to start the function but before I start the function I am going to call inside this main function uh, I am going to create a switch here already uh, created so I am going to add case 2 and case 3 for staff login and guest login which you know already uh, that uh, it is the number 2 for staff login and number 3 for guest login so I'm going to call this one from inside this so after this I will show you how to create the function okay case 2 alright see out please enter the staff username okay and see in so user and password so this is the function which we created already to uh, here to get the password in a aesthetic way so the same function I call here okay please enter the password and true for the pa as a parameter so string stuff user name and password all right and here I going to break this function sorry break this calling statement okay so the case 3 is a function uh, so it's not function uh, it's a one more calling statement for the staff login sorry guest login okay user guest password is a guest because I, I have defined the username and password here because uh, it won't prompt a user to uh, enter username and password so th because it's a guest account so no need to enter username and password so it will assume as a this two as a password and username and it will straight away it will log in okay here now I'm going to define sorry give a description for a login function here and login function for staffs okay void staff string and I give the two reference parameters okay inside this let me little bit take up so you can use easily view okay now string user is a again an array which will contain up to 200 mm, data or string uh, boolean valid equal to false which you know already that uh, it will be the deciding factor of the login is valid or not okay integer x is equal to 0 and I have stream us file us file dot open is a use of dot txt so this is the file which is going to be stored the username and password of the staffs okay and character choice okay 
use a file users and passwords to in read the password and username and we're going to create the loop while user find okay read username and passwords from file and store them in a arrays okay x plus plus okay hold on a minute okay if x is greater than 200 or equal to 200 not to exceed the array limit so it will break okay so use a file it will update st uh, the user file username and passwords to the user file okay and for loop to match with the username and password of the staff here if user equal to user a and password equal pass one equal to pass one okay match username and password with the array components okay then see out okay successfully logged into staff account if it is matching so this message will show on the screen and the valid boolean will be the true it will take the true, true attribute and it will break the loop if user equal guest and pass one equal guest so this mean they have selected the guest uh, login so it will log in into the guest account so see out successfully logged into guest account okay all right then valid equal true again and it will break the loop all right so if valid not equal true okay then see out usernames and password is invalid okay then system will force okay so we have created the function let us check whether it's working or not okay i'll save this one to main tree and here main tree i already compiled this so i'm not going to show you each and every time compile so because this one already the pre created so hold on a minute okay now number two function will uh, so let me check what are the username and passwords are available for this okay user one is a username and pass one is a password okay so user one and one okay here it successfully logged in so it's working perfectly and we have checked now how to uh, create the login function so the rest of the two function available in the main menu the change font size and change team so I am going to show you how to change the font size in the next video until that take care guys bye bye